said that uh, his lambs, right? They know, they know his voice and they, they will follow his, him. They, this right. is the voice of Jesus Christ. He said, I am the Word. He says, the Word came to, the word came to life. It became flesh in John 1. Yeah. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. The Word incarnate. Got a Bible right there. If you don't follow the Word of God, you are not following Christ. You are not a child of God. You were born a child of the devil. Just like me and just like everybody else. And it's evident in our behavior. We're born in sin. Yes. So, being children of the devil, we will spend eternity with the devil unless God changes us. Unless God makes a miracle happen in our lives. Hey, this is really powerful stuff right here. Yes, amen. You, you, you go ahead and look this stuff up. Make sure I'm preaching it right. Oh, yeah. Make sure I'm preaching it right. What I'm gonna okay. read, what I'm gonna read is really good, man, because this sums it all up right here. Can you give me a few minutes? Yeah, go ahead. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Only by the sacrificing work of Jesus Christ on the cross can anyone be saved of their sins, their lies, their adultery, their thievery, disobeying your parents, blasphemy, the third commandment. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God's name in vain. If you say OMG, if you say GD, you're guilty of blasphemy. God is so serious about blasphemy. Everybody says, oh, blasphemy, it's no big deal. Everybody says it. Everybody says it. In the Old Testament, God commanded that someone who would blaspheme His name one time, they are to be taken immediately to the city gates and stoned to death. But nowadays, oh, that's just a way of expressing yourself. No big deal. God has not changed. And God will not be mocked. It is only through the sacrificing work of Jesus Christ on the cross that any of us may be saved from the wrath of God that is sure to come whether you believe it or not. Your belief or lack of belief does not change God's character, does not change His existence. God is who He is regardless of who you think He is. We do not have that kind of power. Only God has the power to change the nature of anyone. And it is only if God changes your nature that you can be saved. Jesus Christ sacrificed Himself on the cross, bore the punishment for the sins of His people, so that whosoever shall believeth on His name shall inherit eternal life and shall not perish. That's the Gospel, folks. God saves sinners. God will not save a proud person. God will not save a self-righteous person. God has contempt in His heart for that kind of a heart. That's the kind of heart I had most of my life. And God had contempt for me. I was living my life spitting in His face. And despite that fact, despite that fact, despite the fact that I mocked Him, despite the fact that I was constantly breaking His commandments and offending Him, a holy and righteous God, He came and He died for me. And He paid the price for the sins that I committed. And I'm here to deliver the news, the good news, the Gospel, to anyone who has ears to hear. Jesus Christ raised on the third day. He came back to life and proved that He was who He said He was. There were over 500 witnesses recorded in the Bible. This is the Word of God and you can put your, put your faith and your trust in it because this is the only way that you will know your Creator and it is the only way that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Thank you folks, whoever is listening. Would one of my brothers like to take over? I'll talk to you in a minute. Give the mic, give the mic. Give the mic. Thank you, Joe. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. I was going to say, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Yes, he did. Only God can do that. Lazarus will get AIDS. Yes. 